What's up, everybody? I am about to go to the airport. My dad will be here any second to pick me up. I'm flying out to Midland, Texas and meeting up with my friend John. And we're going to, for the next three days, two nights, three days, going to be hiking and, and backpacking through Guadalupe National Park, hiking up the tallest peak in Texas, Guadalupe Peak. It's going to be awesome. So I'm going to take you with me and it should be good. I, I think I learned a lot from my last trip to Enchanted Rocks. So this one should go a little bit smoother but my dad will be here any minute then I fly out and then me and John will leave tomorrow morning from Midland to the park so let's see how it goes Right, we made it John big John <laughs> Woohoo! we had to make some uh, adjustments to our original plans but it's gonna be awesome but because of that we have to go back through our pack and kind of do things a little bit differently but we are going up Guadalupe Peak and sleeping up there tonight so it's gonna be really good what's the temperature she said below freezing tonight. tonight's gonna be below freezing <laughs> So hopefully, <laughs> be interesting. hopefully we're okay. And there's no water sources up there, so we gotta pack that. But I'll quit recording. Get packing. I think we're ready to go. Climb a mountain. Climb a mountain. I feel like do we look like we know what we're doing? <laughs> I mean, I have an REI jacket on, so it makes me look like I know a thing or two. John's eating. Hurry up, John. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Look. Here. Oh, I don't know if I was recording any of that. Oh. I just recorded a bunch of stuff and didn't hit record. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, Dumber. here we are. We, we started. What did it, what do we say? How great shape we're in. <laughs> John yeah. does CrossFit. Supposedly great shape. We'll see. I'm already breathing a little bit. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> we're uh, 0.1 miles into it. <laughs> Other vloggers, video people would run up there, put their camera down, and then come back and get a, a cool shot of them hiking. This ain't that kind of video. <laughs> that ain't happening. A while back I went to Enchanted Rock and I made a lot of mistakes packed too much. I didn't know what I was doing and I've learned a lot I think since then via YouTube So I feel like We're gonna do much better this time around my bag is Much lighter my equipment much better. This is take two. Can I improve? Look at this <laughs> Wow Okay, we are 1.5 miles in. How you feel? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's tough. The pack is heavy. Look at this trail though. Amazing. And then this <clears throat> is just straight down. If we slipped, <laughs> you just go. Yeah, that's. I can't remember if I said this already, but we are going to the campsite first before we summit. We're gonna drop our pack, set up camp, and then go up there. Maybe eat something and then yeah. go up. So. Um, Take a good little break. So we'll probably check in then. We're about, we're 3.4 miles from John's truck. They told us it was strenuous <laughs> and they said it was rugged terrain. And uh, I think I agree. Now we believe it. Yeah. Cause they, what they do is they, sometimes they say, oh, it's strenuous. And it's like, who's making these Actually, decisions? Like and it's like, I'm in good shape. Well, I thought I was. <laughs> it's the pack too. I feel like if if we didn't have these packs, it would be yeah. different. I think I need to disperse my weight differently. I underestimated it a little bit. And I got this tent. I think that's gonna be my next upgrade. Get a lighter tent. I think I'm gonna try putting it at the top because I feel like my pack is like pulling me backwards all the time. Because I have it up high trying to get it off my shoulders. So I don't know. If you're watching these videos thinking, Oh, I wonder what this guy can teach me. You're watching the wrong video. 
I am figuring this stuff out. Okay, there's a sign up here. Is this the campsite? Campsite. Guadalupe Peak campsite. This is it. Really? We did it, John. Oh man. We made it. Nice. Really? <laughs> ah! Oh. Is it up there? What? Like look, the trail goes up. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> no freaking way. Uh, oh. Alright. We did it. Here they are. There's one. We need to find the best one though. Yeah. I'm gonna drop my bag okay. and then maybe walk around and see if there's yeah, a better one. That's a good idea. Oh, oh. people. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I think we found the one we're gonna move to. Our bags are right up there. But yeah. this one because... We have room for the tents, right? Like, oh yeah, plenty. Okay. We're all good, we ate some food. <laughs> and uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a big grasshopper. Yeah, that's huge. <laughs> if we get hungry, we can eat it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. No crap, man. And I know this is not gonna do it justice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, I can't. That makes me nauseous oh, looking wow. down there. Oh wow, look at that. Dude, <laughs> that is crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's some serious. That is. We did it. <laughs> That's oh awesome. my goodness. Let's go touch the <laughs> highest point in the state of Texas. <laughs> wow. Ha. Windy, man. This is freaking awesome. <sighs> that was <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Woohoo. Top of Texas. Yeah. Look at these cliffs over here. God. Oh, cool. We just both, let me take this off. Ah, we just fa FaceTimed our, our families. <laughs> yeah. This is the only signal we have in the whole park. Might be the only one we get the whole yeah. time, so. <laughs> but man, I'm excited. I feel like we're at the top of Mount Everest right now. <laughs> The highest point it's in what, Texas. It's 8,800 8, feet or something? Almost, 89? yeah. 87 Eight. something. Okay. And nobody else is up here because we waited so long to get up here. <laughs> so it actually worked our benefit. And we should have enough daylight to get back to the campsite. Should be good. And we just chillax for a while. It's going to be cold. It's going to be... Freezing. Below, yeah, below, below freezing, freezing. Supposedly. Yeah. So. But we'll be good. We'll, we'll, we'll survive. We'll survive. <laughs> Man, look at this. Look at this. That's just amazing. This is Texas, people. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, I guess we'll head down. All right. This should be fun. All right, we're all packed up here. <coughs> Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> and I made some adjustments, so... Like I said, I think I said, this is all learn as you go. We don't know what we're doing. So uh, my pack, normally I would have, this is my tent. And whenever I had it down here on the bottom, I felt like it was pulling me back the whole time. So I, I was like leaning forward. So I put it up here and I think that's gonna balance the weight a little bit more. Plus I raised everything up. So I think that's gonna be a better situation so we'll have to find out about that but i do know that i'm going to need a, a better tent i don't know it's nice because it it um it sets up so easy but i think it would be better to have have it where i can kind of cram it into the bag we'll find out how learn about you, you go. yeah learn <laughs> as you go this is not an instructional video this is <laughs> learn from our mistakes if anything amateur hour amateur hour <laughs> What do you think? How's how's your situation going? Uh, well, I can barely cram everything back in my bag, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do something different with the sleeping bag. Instead of using a stuff sack, I just crammed it all at the bottom. 
and I barely got it all back in there, so I don't know. We're, we're gonna see. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep my, that's pretty much all I can do with the tent. This should be okay. We're, we're also, we don't have the water. Yeah, less water. Yeah, that's eight pounds. I think we're carrying maybe like less than a pound of water, probably. Yeah. So we're gonna get down the mountain, get to his truck and kind of restock everything. And kind of just see where we want to go from got here. Next plan. <laughs> yeah, we had. I think we we in our minds thought we were able to do more than we could. We thought we were more awesome than we actually are. <laughs> I underestimated the uh, um, what the elevation would do to me. So physically, I feel like I was doing okay, but the elevation was getting to me. So I thought, you know, it's still below tree line and all that. It's not that big a deal. It's not like. It used yeah. to be when I lived in Colorado, but it was, it kicked my butt. I could tell at a certain point when you kind of like hit that wall. Yeah. <laughs> and then I started, I was like, you want me to go ahead of you? And so, but I could tell, I don't know what elevation we were at, but it was probably close to eight. Yeah. It kind of hit you. So. I, I quit talking. I was kind of frustrated because I know that physically I'm able to do it, but I did not take the elevation into consideration. Plus... We're carrying all this stuff, and I think that took more out of us than we yeah. thought it would. Yeah. So if it was a day hike and we just had like a camelback and some snacks and just go up and down, I think it would have been a it would have been fine. A completely different experience. Oh, trekking poles too. Trekking poles. Trekking. They sell them at the uh, visitor center or whatever. Yeah. And we're thinking about buying at least one, but it depends on what we decide to do. We're just gonna get down. Get down the mountain, get to the truck, and kind of reassess things. And because we want it to be enjoyable, it doesn't have to be like all out, like this physically demanding. Killing ourselves. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to talk us out of doing anything either. <laughs> One cool thing I thought is at this, at this uh, campsite, we were we slept at a higher elevation than anybody in the state of Texas last night. Yeah. I think that's awesome. <laughs> I don't know awesome. if anybody else thinks that's awesome, but we think it's that's awesome. It's probably the coldest spot in the state last night. Too. Yeah. <laughs> Windy. It, it was really cold. We're about to go, so. Hit the trail. Hit the trail. We'll see. We'll Hopefully, see how it goes. Hopefully we don't get blown off the mountain. Hopefully we don't get blown off the mountain, because it's, I'm, I'm behind this rock, so it's blocking the wind, but it's windy. So we'll see. So. The original plan, I don't know if you can hear me from the wind, the original plan was to do this trail over here. And I don't know if you can tell how steep that looks, but we might make some adjustments to the plan. <laughs> We're still talking about it. I'm letting John have the final say. I'll do whatever John wants to do. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to admit that I really don't want to do it. <laughs> So I'll let him be the bad guy. <laughs> but going down is, uh, it's no joke. People think going downhill is easier and we are going a little faster, but it's, it's a lot more technical. You gotta watch your step for sure. Yeah, this isn't even a bad, this part of the trail isn't bad, but the, uh, some of the stuff we were going over a minute ago was pretty intense. A lot of uh, opportunities to hurt yourself. <laughs> gotta have trekking poles. Yeah. That was a, a lesson. We're the only ones we've seen with a big pack though, so that's another thing. Yeah, yeah, so. nobody, we haven't seen a single other person that's been uh, backpacking. It's all been day hikes. Wow, man, it's just so beautiful. I gotta remember to look up. Hey. It's pretty. Super pretty. In the wind. It's windy. Oh. This is our Everest. This is exactly what Mount Everest would be like. <laughs> exactly. We did it. Back to the truck. Yes. <laughs> We're off the mountain. <laughs> All right, how are you feeling? Tired. <laughs> Worn out. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, kind of defeated. It was, it was a little bit harder than we thought. It was good. We're going to chill, eat, figure it out. <laughs> Got the map. Yeah. We're gonna see. Take a look. What we want to do next. Yeah. 
<laughs> so we are in New Mexico. We decided to go on the other side of the mountains to just a completely different uh, campsite. But it's beautiful, look at yes. this. Hello. Hello. So you could say we're in the middle of nowhere right now. <laughs> we just got to our new campsite and it's uh, close quarters <laughs> to others, but it's okay because we have an amazing view. Let me walk over here. We can see. I mean, we're not gonna be doing much hiking, maybe a little in the morning, but this is just a uh, place to stay. Place to stay. 30s, he says, mid 30s tonight. The good thing is, I don't think we'll get wind over here like we had. All right, time to set up. <laughs> okay, we're, it's our last morning. It was uh, actually a much better night. And we're going to go for a short hike because we got about an hour and a half before we need to go. So one short hike. Then we'll hit the road. Now I gotta fly home tonight. I don't even know who's picking me up. Yeah. We're getting one last short hike in, about 25 minute hike. So we'll probably just get to the base of these hills here. We'll see. It's crazy how different the landscape is. So much different. Yeah, it's just beautiful, beautiful. That so different. It's pretty over there. Look at that. Last night we were just on the other side of this mountain range here. So Guadalupe Peak is right on the other side of this. 12 miles. But the drive over here was two and a half hour drive. Two hours over <laughs> around the mountains. And I will say this trip was, I was better prepared than last time but there were some minor things that I need to, to change. Hey, we almost forgot to do one last video before the flight. Well, we're more. saying goodbye. <laughs> it was fun, fun trip. I'll probably have an update here in a minute or like things I learned, but <laughs> I wanna do one with you, but I forgot, so. Yeah, bye John. Bye, Adios. John.